Hello everyone, this is Preeti and welcome to my channel. Today I will be explaining to you how to implement AND function using Perceptron network. In the previous video I have explained to you about the Perceptron network, their architecture, the training algorithm, testing algorithm and the flowchart. Now we will see how to implement this AND function using Perceptron network. Before getting into this video, we should know what is, I will explain to you the quick glimpse on Perceptron network. So first for the Perceptron network, first we need to initialize the weights and bias and then we have to find out this y input using this function b plus sigma is equal to 1 to an xi into wi then we have to apply this activation step activation function using this formula if y input is greater than theta we, uh, it, it will be 1 if it is between minus theta, theta to plus theta it will be 0 and if it is less than uh, minus theta it will be minus 1 after applying the activation function we should update the weights and bias using this formula if the y value which we received from this is not equal to target value then we need to update the weights and the old weights plus alpha into t into xi or otherwise we will keep the old weights as the new weights okay this is the algorithm for your perceptron network now let's get into this video so implement and function using perceptron network so we know what is an and function it is it will have two inputs x1 and x2 and t here they specifically they mentioned uh, to use only bipolar inputs that means it will have only instead of ones and zeros the inputs will be one and minus one okay so one one 1 0 instead of 0 I am writing here minus 1 uh, minus 1 1 minus 1 and minus 1 okay these are all the bipolar inputs what is the target value in this it will be it uh, the value will be 1 only when both the value both the input values are 1 otherwise the values will be 0 so you will get minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 okay this is a truth table for AND function now I will draw the perceptron network for this I will draw the diagram so x1 since i have two inputs i will have two nodes x1 and x2 and you will have the y input and from here you have to apply activation function and you will get y and you have your bias bias input so the bias value will be b over here since there are two nodes and you will have two weights will be associated that will be w1 and w2 okay next process is to draw this tabular column so the tabular column contains totally six columns the first column is input input means you have two inputs x1 and x2 and you have bias input and then you have to include the target value here the next step is to find out the net input okay that is y input and then next step is you have to find out your y that is after applying activation function you will get y and the next column contains the weight changes weight changes is nothing but del w1 del w2 and del b and the new weights that is w1 w2 and b so let's i'll explain to you briefly over here so first is x1 and x2 one target value we can write as it is what is net input net input is y input you have to find out this formula x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus b this is what is y input and what is y y is over here is applying activation function for this y input okay so the here the threshold value they have given to be zero so if here here when you substitute here zero if the the value which you are getting here is greater than zero the value output value y will be one if it is equal to zero it will be zero and if it is less than zero it will be minus one this is what is y value and the next is weight changes weight changes is nothing but so you have to check whether this y is equal to this target if it is not equal then you have to do this updation w i new w1 new will be equal to w1 old plus alpha into t into x1 so this is your del w1 del w1 and del w2 is alpha into t into x2 and del b del b is nothing but alpha into t okay this is what is uh, del w1 del w2 and del b and next is new weights new weights will be equal to w1 w1 old plus this del w1 will give your new weights okay so if they are not equal you have to use this formula if they are equal then you have to use this formula okay first we'll solve this problem the first what i'm going to do is that i'm going to write this 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 so the uh, bias input is 1 1 1 1 here what is the target value for this truth table it will be 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 first we solve the first set of inputs 
so x1 is 1 x2 is 1 and the bias value is 1 and the target value is 1 what is y input y input will be b plus x1 w1 plus x2 into w2 so substitute here b will be 1 1 into b is 1 uh, 1 plus x1 is uh, x1 will be 1, 1 into w1, uh, here we have to initialize all the weights to be 0, so you will get the x1 into w1 it will be 0 and x2 into w2 is also 0, bias is also 0 here, so you are substituting here 0 here, bias is also 0, x1 w1, this also becomes 0, x2 w2 also becomes 0, so y input to 0, so what is the formula says, if the y input is 0, the y value will be 0, so I am substituting here 0 here, okay, next I have to calculate this del w1, what is the formula, it is nothing but alpha into t into x1, what is alpha here, learning rate they have given to be 1, 1 into target value over here is 1, Okay, 1 into 1 into x1, x1 is here it is 1, so the answer will be 1 here. What is del w2 alpha into t into x2, that is nothing but 1, target value is 1, x2 is also 1 here, so you will get 1. What is alpha t, alpha t is del b is alpha t, so alpha is 1 and t will be 1, so 1 into 1 it is 1 over here. So okay, we have found out this weight changes, now we have to find out weight changes, that is w1 new weights. So, here we have to compare, okay. So, you see before applying this formula itself, you have to compare here. So, you see, you check whether y and t are equal. y and t are equal 1 and 0, they are not equal. So, you, have, you are finding out this new uh, change in weights and then you have to find out the new weights will be old weights plus this change in weights. It will be old weight is 0 plus del w1, it is will be 1. So, you are getting here 1 here. w2 will be old weight is 0 plus del w2 is 1 here. So, you are getting 1. Uh, b old plus del b, b old is 0 plus del b will be 1. So, you are getting 1, 1 and 1. So, this is what the new weights you have received after applying, after sending the first set of inputs, okay. Now, sending the second set of inputs, it is 1, minus 1 and 1. Okay, now the target value is minus 1. Now, find out this y input. Y input will be b. What is b value over here? So, you should not take this old weights, 0, 0, 0. You should take the new weights, 1, 1 and 1. So, b will be 1 plus x1, w1. x1 is 1, w1 is also 1. So, you will get 1 and x2, w2. x2 is minus 1, minus 1 into w2 is 1. So, you are getting 1 over here okay so after uh, substituting this values you are getting 1 and y so since the value of 1 uh, the y input is greater than 0 so the value will be so it, it is greater than 0 the value will be 1 so you are substituting here 1 so you check both y and t minus 1 here 1 so they are not equal so they are not equal so you have to find out the change in weights change in weights will be uh, alpha into t into x1 so alpha is 1 t will be target value for this is minus 1 and x1 will be x1 is 1 so you are getting the answer as minus 1 del w2 is alpha into t into x2 that is nothing but alpha is 1 t will be equal to minus 1 and x2 is also minus 1 so the answer is 1 del b del b is alpha into t that is alpha is 1 and t will be minus 1 so the answer is 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 so now you find out the new weights that is old weights old weights is 1 plus the change in weights 1 this minus 1 so you are getting 0 here w2 will be old weight is 1 and the change in weight is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and here b uh, new weights new bias value will be old bias value is 1 and uh, change in weights is minus 1 1 minus 1 you are getting 0 so the new set of weights is 0 2 0 Next, we are sending the third set of inputs, it is minus 1, 1 and 1, the target value is minus 1. First, we will calculate y input. y input will be x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus b. So, the previous weights I have, we have to take, previous weights is 0, 2, 0. So, it will be, the bias value is 0 here. So, 0 plus x1 into w1, x1 is minus 1, w1 will be 0. So, you will get 0 here and x2 w2 x2 is 1 w2 is 2 here 1 into 2 it will be the answer will be 2 and the y we have to calculate y will be based on this activation function so since we have got 2 it is greater than 0 so the answer will be 1 so the answer for y is 1 so we need to compare minus 1 and 1 so they are not equal so we have to find out the change in weights and the new weights 
change in weights will be alpha into t into x1 so that is del w1 alpha is 1 and t will be minus 1 and uh, x1 is minus 1 so 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 you are getting 1 alpha into t into x2 that is nothing but alpha is 1 t is minus 1 and x2 is here it is 1 so you are getting 1 into minus 1 into 1 you are getting minus 1 del b is alpha into t that is nothing but alpha is 1 and t is minus 1 so 1 into minus 1 you are getting minus 1 okay this is your new weights uh, this is change in weights and new weights will be equal to old weights plus change in weights old weight is 0 0 plus the del w1 is 1 so you are getting 1 and uh, w2 will be 2 plus 2 plus this change in weights is minus 1 2 minus 1 you are getting 1 and uh, this one uh, new bias weight will be old bias weight that is 0 plus change in bias weight that is minus 1 0 minus 1 you are getting minus 1 okay so this is what the new weights now 1 1 minus 1 Oh, we will present the fourth set of inputs minus 1, minus 1 and 1 and the target value is minus 1. So first we will calculate y input. y input will be uh, the bias value is minus 1. So minus 1 plus x1 w1. x1 is minus 1 into w1 will be here it is we have got 1 in the previous step. So it will be 1. So minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1 and x2 into w2 that is minus 1 into w2 we have got is 1 so it will be minus 1 into 1 you are getting minus 1 so you will get minus 1 uh, minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1 the answer will be totally you will get minus 3 and since this y input is less than 0 the target y value will be minus 1 ok now you compare minus 1 and minus 1 they are equal so if they are equal there is no need to find out the change in weights so i am going to give substitute 0 0 0 here since the both y and t are equal so i am going to substitute 0 0 0 here and what is the new weights new weights will be the old weights itself so 1 1 minus 1 is the previous output we have received so you are going to substitute the same value 1 1 and minus 1 so after presenting all the four set of inputs i am getting the output the resultant the bias value will be resultant weight and bias values 1 1 minus 1. So after applying all the four set of inputs we are getting the new weights as 1 1 and minus 1 that is w1 is 1 w2 is 1 and b is equal to minus 1. So we should go for the second approach. So why we have to go for the second approach is that we need to continue until there is no change in weights. Okay. So here in the first iteration, first approach, we have seen that there are some changes in weights. See here, we have done changes in weights for the first three set of inputs and there is no change only in the fourth set of input. So we should have, we should not get any changes in the weights for all the set of inputs. Then only you should stop iterating this process. So we are going for the second approach. Okay. The second approach is also the same. You have to do it same as approach one. The only thing is that in the first approach, we have considered weights for all the weights to be zero weights and bias. But here you have to take the weights of the first approaches. So now you have to calculate approach coming to the approach to the same thing we are presenting all the four set of inputs that is like 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and minus 1 and this is the bias and the target value is also same 1 minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1. So now we have to find out the y input y input will be. Uh, uh, b b is minus 1 here minus 1 plus x1 w1 x1 over here is 1 into w1 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 then x2 into w2 x2 is 1 and w2 is also 1 so you are getting minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so you are getting 2 minus 1 it will be 1 and since the value of y input is greater than 0 the y value will be 1 so you compare this 1 and 1 they are equal if they are equal there is no change in weight so you are going to substitute 0 0 0 and you are going to consider the same weights the old weights to be the new weights 1 1 minus 1 now you go for the second second set of input 1 minus 1 and 1 so for this you calculate your uh, y input y input will be uh, what is y input bias values minus 1 plus and x1 into w1 that is 1 into w1 is 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1 and x2 into w2 minus 1 into w2 is 1 so it will be minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 okay so you will get minus 1 over here okay that is minus 1 plus 1 
then minus 1. So, it this uh, uh, it you will get uh, minus 2 plus 1 it will be minus 1 ok. So, since the value of y input is less than 0 the value of y will be minus 1. So, you compare this y and t. So, they are equal minus 1 here here also minus 1. If they are equal there is no change in weight. So, I am going to substitute 0 0 0 and the new weights will be the old weights 1 1 minus 1. Then next I am going to present the third set of inputs that is minus 1 1 and 1 the target values minus 1. Uh, the y input will be the bias values minus 1 plus x1 into w1 that is minus 1 into w1 is 1 that will be minus, minus 1 minus 1 ok x2 into w2 that will be uh, x2 is 1 1 into w2 is 1 that will be plus 1 so you will get uh, minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 so since it is less than 0 so the value of y will be minus 1 now you compare this y and t so minus 1 and minus 1 they are equal so there is no change in weight so you are going to substitute as it is so now you are presenting the fourth set of inputs that is minus 1 minus 1 1 and the target value is minus 1 here the bias value is minus 1 plus x1 w1 that will be minus 1 into w1 is 1 so minus 1 minus 1 and x2 is x2 is minus 1 and w2 is 1 so you will get minus 1 so you will be getting minus 3 here minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 you are getting minus 3 so since it is less than 0 you are getting minus 1 you now you compare y and t minus 1 and minus 1 you are getting here uh, equal so you are going to get the you are not going to do any change in weights so 0 0 0 1 1 minus 1 so the final weights for this perceptron network is 1 1 and minus 1 this is the final weight so after for this particular uh, network what is the final weights so 1 1 minus 1 is the final output so by using perceptron network we have found out that uh, w1 is 1 and uh, w2 is also 1 and b will be minus 1 so when you substitute this value 1 1 and minus 1 you will get the proper output for all the values now we will check this okay for the for the input 1 and 1 so for the input 1 and 1 so what is this y input y input will be equal to x1 into w1 is 1 okay x2 into w2 is 1 and bias values minus 1 okay what will get 2 minus 1 will be 1 okay what is when you apply activation function it is greater than 0 the answer will be 1 okay so the, uh, the answer what you have received is correct so when you apply this the second set of inputs that will be bias values minus 1 plus x1 into w1 x1 is 1 into w1 is 1 okay and x2 is minus 1 into w2 is 1 it will be minus 1 so the answer will be minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 which is less than 0 the answer should be 0 okay 0 means it is minus 1 so you are for all the set of inputs you will get the correct output that means that whatever the outputs the new weights you have received is correct okay this is how you have to solve your perceptron network first you have to draw this time the truth table and you have to draw this uh, diagram and then draw the tabular column it will be which will be easier for you if you are not following this tabular column format then you will make you will do mistakes in calculating the problem calculating the answers okay so it will be easy it will be easier for you to see the uh, the output also and you can also rectify the errors whenever you make mistakes okay thank you all for watching this video